realize, oh man, how long has it been since I even posted a video? I'm just gonna get straight to it. I have a couple videos that I started to edit and I never really found the drive to finish them, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna finish them. Anyways, this one's gonna be much more interesting. Now that the car's running pretty healthy, there's one leak that I have to address still. And if you don't know what's going on, my car had a head gasket leak. It was not very fun to deal with because it was a lot of technical work and a lot of stuff that I was new to. That's why I had a hard time filming and even editing. It's kind of hard to piece out all the stuff to make it a little bit entertaining for you guys. It's been months since the last video, so I need to step up my game and try to chase after this dream. <laughs> I put on about 1,200 miles on this thing and it runs strong. It's slow but it's reliable there's a transmission leak coming from around the bell housing and i feel like it's a seal that i didn't get to do to start the video with a bang the car is gonna get a transformation and it's all suspension work wheels i'm gonna make it look like my car and not a car on a brochure anymore although i do love the stock look and i see all these catalogs of nissan and the sylvia on it It'll look way better. It'll drive way better. There is one caveat to me lowering this car and putting it on wheels, all that kind of stuff. I want to keep fender liner and the stock wiring harness where it is. This car is too nice to touch anything. So I'm going to go as low as possible without rubbing those stuff. There's also a certain look I'm going for specifically an M3 type of OEM fitment. I know that F80s. E92s, E46s, all came with the, a nice aggressive stance from factory, so that's what I'm going to be kind of mimicking. Definitely going to take my time on this build, no rush to get into anything, I don't want to slam it too quickly. I'm going to enjoy the car as it goes, it's been stock for a while, so that's one thing I really wanted to do, just enjoy the shit out of the car while it's stock. Before we start though, here's a look in my interior. This is a shifter. It's a little higher unexpectedly because this is a shifter off of RB20. So I guess it just sits higher and I really like it. This is a shift knob off my G35 that I previously had. I love it. Can't forget this either. Wow. comes the fun stuff so I have everything laid out right here all the stuff I'm gonna use but I'm gonna go brand by brand and tell you why I chose what I chose to run on this car before I get a little too excited and show you guys all the products these are just the products I am running personally I'm not affiliated or sponsored by any of these brands like GK tech but I'll get straight into it. okay so right here we got GK Tech. I'm running two products from them. These are the two products from GK Tech. I'm gonna start off with their spacers. What's cool about their spacers is that they are first hub centric throughout all the adjustable pieces too. There's so many different ways you could run this and since I'm running these R32 wheels, I wasn't really familiar what to run with 16s. The fact that they're adjustable gives me a little peace of mind so that if I Say I bought a bigger spacer and it didn't fit. This, In this case, I could take a spacer out, then I could technically push the wheel in and be safe and not hit like a quarter panel or fender. As for the second product, this one is a GK Tech Roll Center Correction Kit. It's mainly correcting geometry, just like the rears, I'm running drop knuckles, it's similar, but it's like a bolt-in thing instead of uh, replacing the whole knuckle. As for coilovers, I'm going with BC Racing and that's for good reason. In these certain times where I'm in a situation where I need to save money, BC came in clutch and has an affordable option which is their BR series. What's great about this too is that they let me customize the spring weight. This is 14K and in the rear I'm running 12K. Along with that, I got the extreme low package so it'll allow me to go as low as I want and I'll have the stiffness I want. Well, 
unexpectedly. It's another late night at the shop. <laughs> this is taking way longer than expected. I guess it's because of me though. Brandon over here, help me do everything. Oh, and Ethan too. So the front's on, all done. And we got the rear. So I'll try to finish that up real quick and we could get to seeing the car on the ground. Oh, hey, thanks. Yeah. I always get scared of doing this now because last time I stripped it. I just torqued that too. It is almost five o'clock in the morning. I am alone. The car is getting there. I now just have to drop it down, make sure like the alignment's all good. And, oh, that wheel's not on. <laughs> oh my God. But gotta bolt check everything and pretty much done. This is how the coilovers sit at box height with all the suspension. The front needs to go a little lower. The rear on the other hand, maybe a little higher. We are finally done. Believe it or not, it's 12 hours later. I started around 6 p.m. Friday. Now it is Saturday, 6 a.m. I kind of just did it nonstop. A couple people stopped by, helped out, and for the rest of the night, I was just on my own. It was kind of relaxing. I don't know if it's worth the sleep deprivation, but nonetheless, it is done. All up in here, we have the BC Racing coilovers. They, they were great. I have no complaints in the install and adjusting it was pretty easy. Box height was a little bit too high for me, so I lowered it about an inch. Under here, you could see the GK Tech Roll Center Correction Kit. Once I have the car lowered on the ground, I'll show you how much angle I have and whether I am rubbing on the fender liner. In the rear is a different story. So there's a whole lot of arms, drop knuckles, obviously the brakes and the coilovers. It took a bit of finagling with the arms to get them at the right length, but that's just to have it personalized to myself. The drop knuckles, it wasn't that hard. And I'm actually really happy with where the car sits. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let me just put the car on the ground. Alright guys, I am honestly more than satisfied with where it's at right now. Oh my god. It is a little high up front, but Honestly, it's my daily. It's kind of, it seems to be pretty level. Like, I, I love it. Oh my God. Did you turn? That's good. Wow, it is pretty stiff. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but it is still. I think it's time to call it a night. My work here is done. One power nap later, we are gonna align the car. We, as in me and Brandon. <laughs> We just finished the rear and camber toe is adjusted. Let's go to the front. Oh yeah, so this is your camber toe. Hey, test. dude, the line is not bad. Not bad. Even though my eyes are bulging that day, we're good. I 
adjusting toe right now. So looking at the screen and moving this until my toe is good. I know it's dark, but this is Brandon, my cousin's first time in the car. It's pretty stiff. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> So we're seeing if the wheel is straight and it's not straight. We are not stranded. Brandon's adjusting my toe. You gotta do some like, adjustments to get the steering wheel straight, but yeah, super satisfied. Time to lock her in. Thanks, Brandon. Last stop of the video I just got at Part Shop Max. This was the first actual highway drive, freeway, whatever you want to call it, but it was a good amount of miles, about a 20, 30 minute drive, and it drove great. It's pretty stiff, but it's bearable. <laughs> really long drive, such a small piece. I don't know if you guys know, but PBM, they sell some baller ass suspension parts, but I'm here for something simple. This is what I came for. I lost my key, and thank you to my friend Ethan for letting me borrow his in the meantime. Yeah, if it's they do have some cool stuff here. Let's start over here. S15. I'm debating if I want one in the future. And E46. I'm kind of in love with this one. Barely finished it. Wow. <laughs> this thing is like. Here's my hand. Oh my god. This that wow That's a good idea so this is what the new machine does and it will be machining <laughs> here's a little behind the scenes of PBM and this is something that's kind of new it's a S13 tension rod brace so Nick over there he fabs it up starts it up and once everything's dialed in they have a robotic welder to like automate things and speed it up and Really interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is what we uh, saw where we ship all our, all our stocks, oh, all our yeah. supply parts and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is where they tune their shocks. My work here is done. I got to meet all the guys there and see what goes on behind the scenes. But my car might be scanned for like product development of body kits and stuff because it's stuck. Anyways, I don't know if you gotta see the car yet, but here's how it sits. The car is all ready to go. Funny thing is, I didn't even need spacers up front or in the rear. Another thing, if you wanted to know how the GK Tech Roll Center Correction did, they gave me a good, a little bit more angle and during full lock, I don't rub. Just enough clearance. So I got to retain fender liner and the stock wiring harness for location. I really didn't want to mess with that stuff to keep it completely stock. I'm actually 100% satisfied where it is. Well, thank you PBM for showing me around. And thank you guys for watching the video.